Well, now I'm working on that third door. Remember last episode I uh, mentioned I was putting that on? Well, I'm uh, I'm filming it, and um, I didn't get it completely finished, but you'll find out why. Uh, thanks for watching. Welcome back to the hangar. Um, I'm going to start working on this windshield. Uh, as uh, you know from previous episodes, I purchased that uh, third door uh, kit, and... Um, I've already cut the windscreen, and I thought I was recording it, but I wasn't. <laughs> Sorry. So that part you're going to miss. Um, but uh, I'm going to start recording all the rest of the stuff on how I install this third door. Um, it's going to be a long process. It's a lot of, well, like everything else, putting on and taking off, putting on and taking off. But um, I want to start this video off with a couple of things. Uh, actually, one big thing. Uh, this airplane uh, I purchased three years ago now. About three years ago. Um, and I purchased it when my, my mother passed away and left a rather large sum of money as an inheritance to all of, uh, all of, all of her kids. So, um, I figure since technically my mom purchased this airplane for me um, when I when I was getting it close to ready to fly uh, this airplane when I bought it had the builders name on it as a name on the on the nose cone I was going to change that so I did and so to reveal that name that is my mother's name Edith and so this airplane is now known as Edith in honor of my mother. So all you guys out there who've got moms, um, yeah. So love you, mom. I know you're up in heaven watching, and you'll be watching when I fly this thing. So uh, there. I just wanted to introduce this video with uh, the name of my airplane. It is now Edith. It's the same on both sides, is, uh, so. and it sticks out nicely on that red stripe. So, alrighty, onward to working on that windshield. So um, we'll um, cut to the action sequence right now. What follows is a brief construction montage. A construction montage and, of course, me narrating as I speed everything up to uh, 16 times normal speed. Uh, what I'm doing here, uh, again, as you can see, I'm laying tape onto the uh, windshield and um, because where the hinge goes, the uh, I need a bit of a relief cut into the uh, windscreen to allow that, um, that um, I guess, the hinge portion of it to, uh, to fit properly. Um, so I've got a Dremel tool and I'm using a... Um, a a little rotary bit that people use for you know cutting drywall and what have you but this one is meant for plastic wood all that stuff clamp everything down put in a, a guide there and uh, measure <laughs> three times before you start cutting with it and then um, uh, position yourself and trim it and as you can see I'm using that Dremel tool to trim back and forth and I do both the the halves of the windscreen uh, that were cut and um, Try to make sure that I've got uh, got everything done. So uh, I'm going to slow it down here for a second, show you a close up of what I've done, and there we go. Uh, you can see now that the uh, the hinge itself has a bit of a relief inside there, and um, um, it allows the wind windshield to be uh, held closer and together. And now, of course, I'm uh, mounting the windshield onto the airplane itself and um, getting that fastened and um, you know ready for uh, accepting the windscreen but I've got some painting to do and all that kind of stuff but um, that's it this is uh, the end. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. Okay some progress with the third door. First thing I need to do is well let's flip this over this tube which is the black one was originally on the aircraft so it was removed, and then I clear coated back onto the winch screen here. Uh, this is the side that was cut for the hinge, and there's the hinge, and there's a tube that comes with it as well that goes behind the hinge. 
Now, what I need to do effectively is I need to add some pieces in here that will hold its form. And when you buy it as a kit, excuse my camera work, you get a bunch of these tubes. Now, can we see them? Yeah, there we go. Short one and a long one. Now, obviously the long one goes here. Okay. And the short one will go here. Now, I don't know if I'm going to put it here. I might. I might put it there and then put this one here. And, and try to hold its form. Uh, you get these little plates as well that uh, would fit. Well, I think this one here would probably fit here. Something like that. So, I think you get the idea that these are going to be holding the form. And um, there's a third small one here that I got. And I'm thinking, actually, that it, it, for stability, I might, uh, I might put it up here at the very top as well. Put one up here, one in the middle here, and then this one here near the bottom. So, yeah, so this one here in the bottom, this one here in the middle, and then cut this one. And stick it in there. Now, for full disclosure, uh, it came with instructions. I lost them. I lost the instructions. But it's not rocket science. Um, I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to put this thing together so that it works. Uh, ultimately, I've got the windscreen attached to the airplane that side that's cuts all drilled and ready to accept the uh, the hinge and the other long tube that goes behind it. Now those tubes are reinforcing tubes or the hinges, okay? And the one on the inside, the hinge, I'll show you, but there's little brackets you're supposed to uh, fasten to the down tube that comes from the top, the, from the root tube up there. And um, yeah, it's, it's all basically is fit it as best you can. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, spend some time and fit this together. I'm going to drill and rivet the frame. This framework here, I'm going to drill and rivet it all together. Um, and then I'm going to paint it flat black. And I want it flat black so that it uh, doesn't reflect that kind of stuff. So I don't want anything shiny. This, I painted everything else flat black. That's going to be painted flat black. And uh, it's a quick drying paint. You know, it'll dry in 20 minutes, half an hour, and then I can start riveting it all together, uh, starting with uh, riveting the windscreen onto the onto here. But I'm going to, of course, dry fit it first, naturally, just to make sure it does fit, and then uh, and then all the angles that I want are, are correct. So, yeah, got a bit of work left to do on this. It's not that difficult. Let me take a wide shot back here again. Again, that's what it looks like. You know, there's the uh, the original tube, there's the hinge with the tube behind it, and I'm going to have three braces, one at the bottom, one nearly at the top, and then one at the top. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll take it from there. So, uh, not that hard. If you guys are considering it, doing it to your airplane, just do a lot of thinking before you do any cutting. And, um, and when I'm Getting this closer to assembled, I'll take close-up pictures and explain what I did. So maybe if you wanted to do it to your airplane, that's great. One of the things I found to, to cut the plex, of course, you use a little Dremel tool. But then to, uh, as you saw, that uh, I used that um, Dremel tool with that. They use it for cutting drywall, but the, the bits that I got uh, are good for aluminum or plastic, that kind of stuff. A lot of measuring and bracing, and then you have to trim it out so that the hinge has somewhere to go into. Otherwise, you're you're going to spread your windscreen apart by whatever that distance is. So, yeah, so it's, it's experimental. What can I say? Already, onward. OK, 
Okay, here is the, uh, the door, ready to be routed together. Uh, but first I'm going to be painting it. So, let's do some detail from the back side. Um, this is, of course, part of the hinge assembly. It's uh, clicoed on. I'm, I put a clico on every single hole, just to make sure everything lines up. Uh, the bottom brace has got a curve to it with the little gussets there, middle brace, gussets, and then of course there's a top brace here with the gussets as well. Um, so my next step before I do anything is I've got to take all of this apart. I'm going to rivet these gussets and, and stuff all together. Um, so that's going to be all put together and I'm going to lay it down and paint it flat black paint the hinge flat black and any other parts that I want painted flat black and uh, I'm gonna go have uh, supper and come back to the hangar by then all of this should be dry and I'll be able to start assembling it now probably the only, the only way I can figure out how to assemble it is to put this door portion together completely as you see it with hinge and everything ready to, to work and uh, and then mount it onto the uh, windscreen on the airplane and then figure out how to brace the hinge because there's two braces that have to go on the hinge side against that one root tube that comes down um, just got to figure out how to do that then drill some holes and rivet and, and done so it's it's coming along I'm hoping that today I will have the uh, the door on the airplane and uh, finished and riveted. We'll see. We'll see. It might be clicos. It might be rivets. But we'll catch along. Anyways, that's uh, that's what we got. And I'll just hold it up right here again. This is the uh, what she looks like from the back side, which is really the business side. There's the hinge. So that's what she looks like before she goes on the airplane. So, okay. On to painting. Yeah, through all these uh, boring parts with me uh, pulling rivets, I speed things up again. So, as you can see, I'm pulling out Clicos one by one and replacing it with a steel rivet. And uh, once it's done, it's surprisingly very strong. Um, it's considering how thin everything is because it's aircraft um, you know you want to keep the weight down and um, yeah it, I was quite surprised at, uh, at uh, how much it um, it held together and how strong it became so it's not a tough job if you guys are thinking of doing it uh, don't hesitate All riveted in. Now to get painting. First, I got to wipe everything down with MEK, get all the grease and oils off of it, and then spray it down. Go grab a bite to eat. Come back in about 45 minutes when the paint is dry enough to work with. Well, it dries too. You know, it's 24 hours, but you can work with it after that. It's quick dry, flat black. Anyways, be right back. Two hours later. Okay, I'm going to close this off. I haven't finished. There's the uh, the door. It's painted flat black. Very nice. And uh, all the rest of the pieces. Windshield is there. I. Uh, Notice I had some glue and some scratches on that wind, windshield and I'm going to have to polish them out. Uh, it's going to be a lot tougher to do when it's mounted. So I'm going to stop right here before I assemble everything and uh, I'm going to see what I can find to uh, polish plexiglass to a glassy smooth again. I don't know. I know there's products out there for that. And uh, to make it crystal clear, or at least as close as possible. And uh, 
And then I realized I can't quite mount that even after I do that because I still don't have that dashboard, that kind of a brow for, uh, uh, for the, uh, the panel. So, <laughs> yeah, putting the cart before the horse. I really wanted this windshield finished today, but I won't be able to do it. Um, it's, I gotta come back the next weekend uh, with the polishing compound. And uh, before I mount any of this, and it's pretty well ready to be mounted now, um, I'm gonna do that dashboard brow. So that's it for today. Um, little update. Hopefully it uh, makes sense uh, with uh, what I've done. Oh, hang on a second. Water. I'm just gonna put the cap on so I don't spill it on everything. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. So thanks again uh, for following along and uh, all the comments and the likes. And um, we shall see you here in the hangar again when I continue on. Uh, next, before I get this windshield on, I gotta do that dashboard brow and then mount the windshield, but I gotta polish it. If any of you guys know what to use, now I've I actually tried a headlight renewal kit that's supposed to make the headlights clear. Um, no, I left it kind of milky looking. There's got to be something that's better than the headlight re renew kit, uh, some sort of polishing compound that can be used on Plexi that will clean it. Because I don't want to replace it. And it's No, don't want to do that. Okay, so that's it for now. Um, we'll see you again here in the hangar. And remember, keep your stick on the ice. Bye for now. Yep, always something that kind of delays the finishing of a job. That's all right. If you know of uh, something to polish plexiglass, uh, leave it in the comments. I appreciate the, uh, the input. Thanks for watching.